Hey, welcome to Wine with Wine with me, your host, Gina, and my special guest, Marcus. And he's here going to talk about these great wines we have in front of us. And we're going to pour, drink some wine, tell you about it. And then we're going to wine to you, of course. First, we're going to start by pouring ourselves a glass of wine. We are featuring here the 1924 from Gnarly Head Vineyards. They are wines from California. I have the red blend and he has the Cabernet. Straight out of Lodi. Yeah, yeah. Lodi, California. Listen to this sound. That's the best sound in the world, especially after a long, hard day of work or just early morning sulking. Yeah, I'll drink to that there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Marcus. I'm so glad you joined Whining with Wine. And hopefully we can do this all the time. Head rhyme. And I'll let you take over. So this 1924 Cabernet Sauvignon out of the Lodi. If you look at it, it's got a nice dark color to it. She's got a little bit of legs on her, rich color. Typical of most California wines, typical of California Cabernets. The nose is it's pretty bold. Get a little dash of a little bit of smoke, a little bit of vanilla. I um, mm. wonder how it's going to taste though. Pretty enthused. I've, I've let this uh, breathe for about 15 minutes just to, to open it up a little bit. Cheers. Yes, and I have the red blend. I bypassed the smell portion. <laughs> It's been a long day and I need some wine right away. So I can definitely can taste a, the vanilla. And you can tell the, this is a young wine. Yes. In the taste, it's nice and dry. It's got some blackberry jam, some black currants, some spicy clove. I think it's a decent wine. It's it's nothing that's gonna you're gonna write home about. This is good for like a, a Wednesday night. You know? Yeah. Some some good spaghetti or or or, or a nice steak. You know, this would be a nice good bottle to open with it. You let it open out for a little bit. I recommend this one. It's fairly inexpensive too. It sounds like we're tasting similar things, even though I have a red blend. But um, my red blend has the Zinfandel, Merlot, Petite Syrah, and Syrah grape. And yep. it's fifteen percent. This guy here's a fourteen point five. You know, he's not as he's not as strong, but. <sighs> I think this is a nice quality wine for the price that it is. I paid uh, $11.99 for it plus tax in Maryland. But whining with wine wouldn't be whining with wine without the whining. As you said earlier, I'm just going to vent about driving. And one particular thing that I've noticed in, in my area where I live is a lot of people tend to stop on the accelerating ramp. When you're getting onto the highway, you know, the ramp that you're supposed to speed up on. A lot of these people, they'll just come up and they'll stop. Look to the left. Like, no, you're supposed to be coming down this exit ramp. You're supposed to get onto this, this, this highway, this freeway, and the accelerating speed stopping just messes everything up. Uh, a demon comes up aside of me when I'm driving and- uh, A demon! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> only time you will ever see them. And it only comes out in this area. Uh, Northern Virginia, DC, Maryland. It's a very, uh, very dangerous, dangerous road we live on. And do not, I repeat, do not let one drop of any type of precipitation hit the ground. That throws the entire traffic board off exponentially. Equilibrium. <laughs> exponentially. What could take five minutes might take anywhere between 15 minutes to five hours, depending on the type of precipitation. <laughs> You know what's funny before. though? It's funny because I thought Maryland was the worst place to drive. Now that I'm driving in Florida, I realize that these people are crazy. Why are we making U-turns when there's oncoming traffic? I haven't even been there that long anywhere. I've already noticed this. God damn. When I was living in Las Vegas, I noticed that, you know, People act differently when they're on vacation, when they're not from a place when you know, they actually live there. But the difference is 
people that actually live here drive insane. <laughs> it's just Good luck. That's all I'm saying. I'm, Good luck. I swear to God, I don't want to be an aggressive driver. Hey, Gina, but I have to be. I've got one more wine I wanted to check out with you. Oh, yeah. That is this Perano Estate Petit Sera from Lodi, California. We've got two Ooh. on this end. Have you ever had this one before? I have not. Is that a new DMV wine by any chance? This is a new DMV wine. Oh. This is, this is hot off the press, hot off the vineyard. Very few select people have had this. Oh. This is a 100% Petit Syrah out of Lodi, California. It's not too pricey. You get a bottle around the $13, $14 range, depending on which store you go to. Or if you're triggering it at a restaurant or bar, it might be like, you know, $45, $50. Bucks. Decent bottle. Any uh, bottle under $20 in the liquor store is... You think it's worth it's it? Fantastic. It's worth it. Worth yeah. every try. <laughs> High end stuff, see how you like that. I ain't scared of no ghost. <laughs> this is uh, it's kind of lighter. The color yeah. of it is lighter. The legs are about the same. Looks, I've let this one breathe as well for like the last 15 minutes. Gonna nice. have to drink bottles of wine tonight. I don't want them to go bad. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. When in Rome, <laughs> Toronto Escape, Petit Syrah. The mm. nose is real earthy. Let's give it a try. Yes. I think I have a favorite. Uh-oh. I think I'm jealous. I think I have a favorite. I I, I kind of like this Petit Syrah a lot better than this uh, Cab Sav. It's a uh, <laughs> medium. It's still bold and, and dry, but this is more a little bit more medium body. The finish is a lot smoother. I'm getting vanilla, black cherry notes. It's not too, too dry. It's bolder than 100% Syrah that I had last night from the same estate. But this is a very, very good wine. It's a young wine, it's it's mildly complex. I'd highly recommend this wine for anybody who's out there. Go get this wine. This is a really good wine, in my opinion. Our opinions could be different, but to each their own. Salute. Yes. To each their own. And that's the great thing about wine. You know, everybody likes what they like and has the opportunity to find something that's right for them, whether it's sweet, white, red, peach, whatever, you know? <laughs> if you like, you know, that, that's for you, you know? And like I said, it's up to the person. But as far as I'm concerned, I like a good red wine. I am actually opening myself up to white wine now, which is a big thing for me because straight red wine is all I would drink. It didn't matter. Red wine, it had to be dry. And then that was it. But now I'm opening favorite myself grape. up. What are your favorite grapes? I like, man, you know, it's funny. Cause I don't even know if I have a favorite grape. I love Cabernet. I love Merlot. I love Syrah or Shiraz. I love those grapes. Maybe I'm spoiled. I'm not drinking Yellowtail. You're so <laughs> bullied. It's not happening. It's not happening. Know. I'm all about, I mean, trying a mass produced wine, but just, I can't do the barefoots. Hey, yellow, Yellowtail yellow serves its purpose. You know, I mean, it's a cheap red wine, you know. When you're tasting wine and the only judge that matters is yourself. So if mm -hmm. you have a $6 bottle of wine and you like, or you have a $95 bottle of wine mm -hmm. that you don't like, it does not matter what the name is. All that matters is, is if you like it or not. Exactly. Personally, I have some wines that I've got a pretty fancy palette. I like it, but I will go for some stuff that's not too uh, expensive. All that matters is I like it. And if you don't like it, oh well, not gonna slow me down. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down. Oh no! God, I got the keep on moving. Broken glass everywhere. If it ain't about the money, puff, I just don't care. <laughs>
So thank you so much for joining Marcus and I on this great edition of Wining with Wine. You got to learn about three new wines and hopefully you get a chance to try them. And we appreciate you listening and we appreciate you laughing and sharing and all all of the above. We appreciate you. And then there was wine. <laughs>